Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. We got a custom WrestleMania 34 Seth Rollins. We have a custom from Curve Stomp. This one right here, this one came from Beast Nation, which actually brings me to my next conclusion. This custom will complete the nation. <laughs> now, Maurice, if you guys didn't see the video of the toy hunt, yes, we did find this in the wild, and I was not kidding when I said I was getting in the car to go look for this figure. Who's doing it? This guy's doing it. <laughs> oh, man. Anything new comes up, if you guys are new to the channel, this is what we do. We go in the hunt, the hustle, the work. It is real. Now, speaking of work this one was work this one was very very time consuming and i know you're saying dude this really i mean this is basically kind of like what he wears night in and night out it kind of is i mean it, it is very reminiscent to his regular uh night in and night out attire this was based off game of thrones um now drop a like you guys if you guys actually want me to do the blue eyes i've been contemplating i mean you guys got to give me some motivation here i'm kidding you guys do every single day and i thank you for that right and this is what motivated me was the fact that he became grand slam champion right he captured the ic title to finally say, bro, I am part of the elite. Well, it was an already an elite figure, but what I'm saying is that he became one of the elites, right? There isn't many that fall in that category. Now, I'll go over the attire with you. Um, this head scan, this is probably my favorite, one of my favorite head scans that they've made for Rollins. They've made about five, maybe even seven in all, but this one, I don't know. It just This is the one that came with the Toys R Us exclusive, um, the cash and money in the bank right here. Now, the attire, I'll go over with you. It is... Yeah, it's kind of like a mesh uh, decal design. It's not decals. It, it, this was all hand painted, but it is like a crisscross pattern all along the attire. I mean, it starts on the way top and it's work. It works its way down into the knee pads, even on the kick pads, not just on the front, but also on the back. So I'm telling you, I think all in all, this was probably like eight, maybe like nine minutes or nine, nine minutes, eight to eight to nine hours. What am I kidding? <laughs> this one was just, it was just taking your time to getting that crisscross pattern right. The belt right there. I did do the buckle right there. I also did the wrist straps. The wrist straps, this is kind of what he had going on. He had like a, a dark gray right there, and then it was a light gray, and then it was like a black outline. I don't know. I think this one right here, I mean, really the only thing missing apart from the blue eyes is the vest. This right here, I don't know. I, I do like it. I think the, once I finally got it done, once it finally completed the Ron's clutch, and it does, um, drop, if you, drop it in the comment section if you actually guys want to see that. I think that would be sick. Um, we've done just about every single Ron's attire that they've made. So so far so again if you're new to the channel go give that a watch right here my guy beast nation this one was actually the most requested figure by a lot of fans not just not not for me like as as far as me putting it up on the channel but as far as like one of the most requested Undertaker figures, the American Badass. And I know you're saying, dude, didn't they make an American Badass? They did. They made it. Um, they made a short hair version, but this is the long hair. This is the long hair. This was like the early stages of American Badass. Thanks again, James. Thank you, sir. You you are the you are a beast. <laughs> Let's get this open. And now, okay, here's the thing. They were actually thinking about making this figure prior to elite series 55 but because of the whole time issue they didn't uh oh i hope i didn't cut into the jacket we're good we're fine we're rolling with it um and because of the whole time thing that's why they didn't put this figure out so it's not that they're not going to put it out it's just that hero figs lacks the patience <laughs> and the attire that he went with or the fodder parts that i sent him to make this it was actually the uh, elite series 55 he did a head, a head swap on it from an old Jax figure. He did. He added this blue style of uh, vest. or It's not a vest. It's more of a shirt. It's like a short sleeve shirt. This is sick, dude. It, it does have the long hair. So let me, let me show you real quick. He added this hair piece. I don't know where it came from. Um, he might have actually sculpted it, come to think of it. And, dude, you did awesome, bro. Like, he did some really, really good shading. Check that out. He's got some reds in there. He's got some dark browns. The bandana right there. I think this is the same one. And, again, uh, Beast Nation, if you're watching this, man, drop it in the comment section. It might be the same one that came with Elite Series 55, or it might be something completely new. So, I, again, I he, he did go over the parts with me, but... Uh, <laughs> At the moment right now, I'm drawing a blank for how beautiful, for how sick this thing is. This thing is lit, man. Wow. This is straight up fire, man. This is cool. Now, he didn't have actually, to, he didn't have to paint on uh, the shirt because the shirt that he got it from also, an old Jax figure, um, the shirt already came in this color. And there is some really good shading before, before I put on this black jacket.
jacket right there. I'll show you the shading that it's got going on right there. You see all the shading right there. It even has like the little tiny uh, buttons right there. It's got a little gold on all of them. It's got it on the pocket. It's got it going up the shirt. My, wow, dude, this is straight fire. Love this. I am so happy to add this to the collection. This one actually, this this definitely doesn't. I mean, until Mattel finally decides to find the time to make this figure. Because if you ask any Undertaker fan, if you may, if you do a poll, I can guarantee you 80 to maybe even 90%, they'll tell you that this is the attire that they want to see. This is so fire, man. Thank you so much, Beast. I really, really appreciate it. Now, we've done two customs. I say we get into the one that we found in the wild right here. Maurice, let's get out, Maurice. I know you should have been like, dude, you should have just reviewed her during the toy hunt. And I almost did. <laughs> I was freaking out. When I got in the car, I started screaming and yelling. I couldn't, I, honestly, I couldn't believe that I found her. Because anything prior to this, which, w yes, it was the Walgreens. The Walgreens side. Oh, I almost forgot to show you the card. I'm sorry about that. Here's the back of the card right there. It says French Canadian. It says finishing move. French Kiss DDT. This woman loves saying French, doesn't she? <laughs> Not just in her finisher, but in her nickname right there. It says, uh, Manager of the Miz SummerSlam 2016. Which actually, this is the running figure to the Elite Series 53, the Miz, where he had like the Phantom of the Opera. To me, this is kind of confusing because, like, if the Miz was dressed up as Phantom of the Opera, wouldn't you think that, I mean, unless if she's trying to arrest the Phantom of the Opera for breaking into the <laughs> auditorium, right? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, anytime you do cross cosplay with your uh, significant other, it's usually matching, right? So the fact that the Miz was um, Phantom of the Opera, and what is she? She's supposed, I think she's supposed to be a police officer. I'm not 100% uh, correct, or I might be, I don't know. She's, she's like, I'm going to handcuff you, bro. Well, hold on, we're not doing that. That's, uh, that's for another video, right? Right here, um, the hat. Okay, so here it is. This actually, I don't recall actually seeing this, and if it if it was, it was most likely put out with, like, the, what was it, the Dean Ambrose, but I think this does have added sculpting, because if you look right there, by under, right underneath the hat, it does have, like, this stud pattern design with a black outline on the tip. Even on the hat itself, it's got, like, these little tiny dots right there that just really sets this figure off from any other figure and I again I could be wrong but I believe this is her actual first elite they've released basics in the past which do have elite articulation but as far as like the overall elite packaging this is awesome this is amazing the attire let me go over the attire with you real quick so the attire it does it's mainly white like throughout the entire thing the boots uh the knee pads just the whole thing is white I mean the only color that you're actually getting from this is around the waist right there it's got like a little waist strap as well as by the chest area again the studded pattern design that you're seeing in the hat also continues right there the scan this is the same one we got in her most recent battle pack i don't see anything different from it but for me man this is it's the attire this was the reason for the pickup this is just wow <laughs> the belt if you haven't seen the ic here's the ic title belt right there we've gotten this with uh i think the most recent figure that we've gotten was with dean ambrose was it dean ambrose i'm pretty sure pretty sure no no, no it wasn't the, the dean ambrose we have gotten it with an ambrose but Here's the uh, strap right here. The strap, I think this is cool. And I think this is the reason why she did the white attire, just so she could match her husband's belt, right? So let's put it on. I don't actually, I don't think you can put it on the Miz, you know, with this jacket on. So you get the idea though, right? I, don't, I do, I, I am going to highly recommend this figure. I think that they really captured her and just overall figure form, like even on the boots. So I want to show you guys the boots real quick. You see that line work that you got going on inside the boots, as well as right there underneath. This is amazing. Wow. Mattel, good job. <laughs> I am very, very happy with this Maurice. Is she going to stand, though? How hard is she for to stand? That's one of my biggest problems with, uh, well, yeah, she's not going to stand. But you get the idea. You can find a little stand for her. Now, this last one right here, like I said, this one is from Curb Stop, and this one will complete the nation. The nation what? We are the nation of domination. Nation of domination. One of the greatest attitude era factions and this was actually one of the main reasons why i wanted to pick up a second henry but when i saw curb stomp post this up on his instagram for sale he had it for cheap he had it listed for the same price that you could have gotten it for at toys r us it was like 25 bucks shipped so i, I really couldn't pass it up and it's funny because like true story um, I think it was about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, I was actually talking to him, and I was going to say, hey, dude, have you gotten a chance to make a Nation of Domination decals? He's like, no, I think I'm just going to wait.
wait for Mattel to put it out. And then when, when Mattel did finally put out a Mark Henry figure, it wasn't the Nation of Domination. It was the sexual chocolate. And then I saw him post it. I'm like, dude, it, <laughs> I have a feeling that you made this figure specifically devoted to this man right here. The, these are the parts that he went based on. And this was the time to actually execute this custom. I think this is why he waited. He wanted to find the right scan for it. I mean, everything from this custom that you're seeing on here, it is coming from the Toys R Us exclusive right there. He just did a repaint. He removed all the decal the sexual cho or the chocolate right there on the front the gold and he made it all black and this is where you're mainly seeing the work um on the side right here it does have like that signature nation of domination logo right there and the scan this is the right scan i think the hat um it might have come with no it's actually looking a little bit different it's actually a lot bigger and it has to be because the one that came with Farouk, it was smaller and this is kind of like what i mean about completing the faction right that faction of the nation of domination now the one figure that we are missing is um like well you have the godfather but in his uh other character which was what was it uh kama yeah we're missing kama we're missing savio vega and we're missing we're missing the nuggets so i don't think we'll ever get the, or i don't think we'll ever get owen in the metal line but this is kind of it man this definitely does it for me i think he also added a decal right there on the actual like hat piece this is sick you guys hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and we'll see you on the next one